Hello everyone, it's Hattie from Honeybee Stampers and I'm here for our online workshop. I hope that you guys are able to catch me live and if you're not able to catch me live, you can always watch the recording which I'll upload after um, today's workshop. So I hope you guys are all having a great day. I am learning all about this social media and this online um, doing videos and so you guys are going to, have to bear with me and we'll see how it goes today. So today we're going to do an online workshop. Traditionally the way that I do these is I invite friends to come over and we have a door prize drawing which we'll have today as well and I demonstrate three cards which we'll do today and I also do a bit of a catalog tour and show you how you can order some of this product if you want to do this at home on your own. So this is our annual catalog. If you don't have this catalog, my customers um, that shop with me, they should have received this catalog already. If you have not received a catalog and you want one, let me know. If you place an order tonight, then you'll ob obviously get it because you'll be a customer of mine. Um, or you can uh, pay $5 and I'll send the catalog to you and then I'll give you a $5 coupon on your first order. So you'll get the catalog for free essentially. So I am, hi Karen. I'm going to, um, let's see, just kind of give you the layout of how this is going to work today. So, um, like I said, my name is Hattie. Most of you guys know me, but if you are somebody who invited a friend to join, then welcome. Um, you and your friend will also get a extra entry into the door prize drawing. Hi, Donita. Hi, Donita. Hi, Linda. Welcome, you guys. And so um, with the door prize drawing, you're gonna get all three, if you win, you're gonna get all three cards that I make tonight. Plus you're gonna get a surprise embellishment that's new in this annual catalog. Um, let me see, I'm gonna post the door prize drawing form for you to fill out after I conclude this workshop. And you can fill it out, you have 24 hours. I'm doing 24 hours because of those who aren't gonna be able to catch it live that they can fill it out later. And let's see here, I think that's it with regards to the door prize, so keep your eyes out for that. So let me do a quick catalog tour, hi Linda, um, to let you know what this catalog is all about if you haven't seen it before. So here's our beautiful cover of our catalog. And inside, I'm just gonna do a quick tour because I'll be referencing this catalog throughout our presentation today. Hi Leanne. And um, I'm going to probably focus on the, the demonstration and then I'll go back and look at questions and answer questions for you guys later so I don't get off track. Okay, so on page six, you're gonna find that's where our kits start. And so Paper Pumpkin is down here. Paper Pumpkin is an all-inclusive all -inclusive kit that comes in the mail. And you can either do a prepaid option where you decide you want one month, three months, six months, or 12 months, or you can have it come to you every month. And Paper Pumpkin is a wonderful way to get started with Stampin' Up. The other next couple pages are other all-inclusive kits. And you guys will have to let me know if the if what you're seeing is in the camera view. I am at my stamping studio right now in Sumter, South Carolina, and so I don't have my computer with me because I don't have internet here. Um, I'm just using my cell phone, and so what I see, I think what I see um, is correct, but if I'm ever off screen or anything like that, just let me know. So on this page, on page seven, you're gonna see two of our all-inclusive kits. One was a carryover from last year, which is the Looking Up kit, and the other one is Simply Citrus, which is beautiful, and I can't wait to play with this. But when I say all-inclusive, that means you get this stamp set here, as well as all the pre-cut pieces to create the projects that they've designed for you. And of course, you can do any other projects that you want as well and get creative on your own. Hi, Carrie, hi, Judy, thank you guys. Hi, Georgina. Okay, the next page, we've got our Gorgeous Posies. This is a project kit. I love this kit, and I'll be doing a video, definitely, about this kit in the future because it's just too beautiful to pass up. But when it says project kit, that means that there's additional items that you're going to need to purchase in order to create this kit here. So if you were to purchase just the kit itself, you'll see here it's $32, and you would get all of these pieces, including this really pretty decorative box that carries all the cards. Now, if you want to complete it, then there are a few items that you need to also purchase. Oh, thank you, Linda. I'm gonna probably move, I've got my camera a little bit close so that you can see the stamping, but I'll probably move the catalog around. Um, yeah, just let me know if you guys ever have any issues with what you're seeing. 
So with the Gorgeous Posies, this is the stamp set that coordinates with it. And then here are some additional items that you would want in order to complete it. Okay, and you could always use stamp sets that you have at home if you'd want wanted to or um, different ink. But this right here coordinates perfectly with this as the designers have designed it to. And then we've got this here. This is our Boho Indigo. This is actually a product medley. And what a product medley is, is it's a slew of products. So they've got designer series paper and embellishments and um, dies and cutouts and ribbon and twine and all kinds of great stuff that you can use and be creative on your own. There's no specific projects that they've designed to go with this. So this is a really fun one. You can see the samples that they've made here are just gorgeous. So that's the Boho Indigo. Um, product medley. Okay, the next thing you'll find when you're looking through the catalog are our different sweets. So this one is called Flowers for Every Season, and you'll see it says Sweet Collection. And what that basically means is there's all these different products that you can get that coordinate together, and instead of right instead of typing in every single item code, you can just use one code, and you're going to get that full. Um, the one price will get you everything. And they have a list of everything that's included here at the bottom. And so that just makes shopping a little bit easier for people who fall in love with a suite. So if you look at this suite and you say, oh my gosh, I love the designer series paper, which we're gonna play with this today. I love both of these stamp sets, which are included in the suite. This is a bundle that um, is with a punch and this is a bundle with a die. So if you decide you love that, you love the embossing folders, you love the designer series paper, you love the ribbon, then you can just enter that one code in and get all of that, okay? So let's see here, I'm going to, um, oh, let me tell you about the stamp set. So when you're looking at a stamp set in the catalog and you see that it's got a grayed out image, that means that this particular stamp set coordinates with a die. And the die you can find a whole grouping of dies in the back here, starting on page one, well, you'll see them starting on page 173, but all the way throughout here, these are all dies that coordinate with that particular stamp set. So that's what that means. Now, if you see a image and it has a kind of a yellow or a tan color in the background, then that tells you that that coordinates with a punch. Okay, so there's a punch that coordinates with this and there's a die that coordinates with this. So look out for those when you're looking through the catalog because if there's coordination, sometimes there's a discount. And you'll see this right here says 10% discount. All of the new bundles that they have in the catalog will always have a 10% discount for you if you order them together versus separate. Now, if you see something that says either this image right here that says reversibles, or you'll see it's just completely grayed out. You'll see this image and then kind of a bracket and it's completely grayed out. Same with this here. That means that that's a reversible stamp set. That's new to Stampin' Up! where you can stamp on one side and then flip it over and stamp on another and it gives you um, a different image or kind of like fills it in for you. Uh, I'll definitely be showcasing that technique in the future. So that's that. And then let me tell you about one other type of stamp, the distinctive. So if you see that this image right here says distinctive, then that particular stamp set um, has a very unique look to it when you stamp it. So when you ink it up just one time and you stamp it down, it's gonna give you a variation of colors, which is such a pretty, uh, it turns out so pretty. So if you ever see any a distinctive stamp sets, definitely try them out, you're gonna fall in love with them. And you'll see here that these are grayed out, so that means that there's dyes that coordinate with that. Okay, so there's that. Um, let me fast forward here. As you're looking through the catalog, the catalog's broken up into different categories. So you'll see the categories at the top here. This one says love, thanks, and support. Um, this one says all occasions. You'll see a birthday and I think a holiday one. Um, kids and babies, you'll see right here. So let's fast forward through the catalog a little bit and I'm gonna share some things that are in the back. So in the back of the catalog on page 138, you'll find our background stamps. These are obviously not shown um, at full size. They're just showing you a snippet of what that background looks like. But this background stamp is rather large. You could use it to cover um, a quarter of a sheet of paper and then some. So now we're into our colors. And our first project today, I'm going to be using our in colors. And you guys are going to just fall in love with them. Stampin' Up! comes out with five new colors every year. And those colors are called in colors. 
and they last for two years. And so starting on page 142, you're going to see all of our color families. And these are different color collections. We've got brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, and basics. And then down here is where you see the in color collection. Now, how you read these grids are the, um, the side here on the left, you will see the products. So the cardstock, the ink pad, the refills, um, blends, which are our alcohol-based markers, if you are interested in that. And then across the top, you're gonna to see all the different colors and you just kind of um, match them up. Kind of reminds me of like Battleship. So if I want a classic ink pad in Misty Moonlight, we're gonna use this color today. Then I would just go across here and down and this is the item code that I would use to order that ink pad in Misty Moonlight. If you shop online, you can just type in ink you know, Misty Moonlight ink pads and it'll show you. That might be easier as well. But if you're shopping through the catalog, then that kind of gives you an idea. The next page talks about assortments. And so if we look down here, we've got our ink pad assortments and they actually come in 10% off if you buy all of the ink pads together. So I'm going to show you the in colors today. And if you fall in love with them, I would recommend doing an entire um, the five pads all together, it's $33.75, which um, is actually a 10% discount versus buying them individually. And the great thing about Stampin' Up! is everything is color coordinated. So if you see Misty Moonlight um, ink, paper, embellishments, you know that when you put those products together, they're going to look fabulous and perfect. Stampin' Up! just came out with a new storage solution. So we've got some ways to organize yourself here. I won't go into this into too much detail today, maybe another time. And then we've got different tools that you'll be using um, to create your projects. And then we've got one of my favorite layouts here are the designer series paper pages. So you've got um, this paper here and right underneath it, you will see the colors that coordinate with it. Artistry, Artistry Blooms is one of the designer series papers that we're gonna to showcase today on one of our projects, but you'll see all of them here and you can order them. Love our paper, it's just such a great way if you're learning how to stamp and create, starting with a designer series paper, picking the colors that coordinate with it, and then just a stamp set and you're pretty much good to go. Now we've got some tools over here. Again, I'll talk about these in the future, but we've got our paper trimmer and our scoring blade. Now this has a scoring blade with it and this is our scoring tool. I use this most because I craft quite a bit. Um, and also you can see that you can make other things like boxes and different um, uh, graphics, I guess, textures on your paper. But if you're just starting out, this particular paper cutter is perfect. You've got the cutting tool and as well as the embossing or the scoring blade. Okay, next couple pages is where you're gonna find some envelopes and packaging. And speaking of envelopes, this right here, we're going to, I'm gonna showcase this. Um, I'll come back to that in a little bit. This is our memories and more page. This is for scrapbookers, people who enjoy scrapbooking their memories, but it also is great for card makers as well. You can do all kinds of things with it. And you can actually see here, they, well, let's see. They've given you a sample, like here's some cards, um, here's a scrapbook page, here's a scrapbook. So lots of options there. Now we've got our embellishments, some more tools, and we've got our ribbons, punches, and it just keeps going on and on. Let me stop here at this page for a second because I'm not gonna be doing any die cutting or embossing on the video today. Um, I'm going to be pre-ordering this next month. To, as a demonstrator, I get to order it early. And it is our new stamp and cut embossing machine. And there's a large one and then there's a mini one. The mini one's so cute and I can't wait for that to be available. But I'm gonna order this one and I will be able to show you how to die cut and emboss once I get that. So just wanted to point that out to you. And again, here are our new bundles that are available and the dies that got them together. Kind of just whipping through this here. Embossing folders, which I love. Embossing folders are just a quick way to make your stamping project look just detailed and complete. And then on this page back here, we're talking about hostesses. So um, if you decide to host a party, these are two exclusive stamp sets. Let me move this up on my camera here. 
two exclusive stamp sets that are only av available to hosts. And a host is somebody who spends 150 or more on their own, which can happen, or somebody who gathers friends together and actually has a party, they collect orders, and then they get all the host benefits. And the host benefits chart is up here. So if any of you guys are interested in doing an online workshop, I'd be happy to do one for you and your friends on a private group page and so that you can get some of this free stuff. Okay, the back are the stamp indexes and product indexes, and I think we're ready to get started. All right, so let me talk about our first card for today. This card uses our Memories and More kit, and actually, let me go to that page so I can show you in the catalog while I'm talking about it. So here, on page 154, you'll see these memories and more. They are the cards and envelopes that coordinate together, and they're in our five new in colors. So here are the envelopes here in the in the five colors. Well, there's four of them. We're gonna be using this one tonight, the Misty Moonlight. Um, so those are the colors. And then they also come with cards that look like this that coordinate. And I put together, let me show you the cards, and then I'm gonna show you how I put them together. Let me move this for a second. The paper that I'm using is from that first suite that I showed you earlier. So here are some of the cards that I put together. Very quick and easy cards, which that's kind of what I love, quick and easy. And I use this paper that's found in that very first suite. Let me go back to that and show you. Okay, so this paper down here, it's beautiful, and the colors that are included in it are all of our in colors. Um, I love how they do that. They can put all the in colors together and make them look great. And so I'm going to demonstrate this card for you today and show you how you can do that. All right. This is our new Stampin' Seal. This is our new tape runner that Stampin' Up! just came out with. And I've been playing with it finally and I enjoy it quite a bit. So um, some tips for it is that you wanna make sure um, that you make sure that the roller is very flat to your paper so that when you roll back, um, it's not, I guess, stringing up. So I'm just gonna put a little adhesive on the back of this designer series paper here and I'm going to layer this on top of a Just Jade piece of cardstock. Let me grab my base of my card and bring that in. So the bases of the cards have this really cute white box, so I wanted to kind of keep my image inside that box, so I cut the designer series paper down. I believe this is three by four, and then I did an eighth of an inch of a border around it. Typically I do a quarter of an inch, but this time I just did an eighth of an inch. And then we're going to take our bone folder and just fold it in half. Now Stampin' Up's cardstock is dyed all the way through. So um, that's a little bit different than these card bases where the card bases are white on the inside, which actually makes it um, great because then you can write in it. You don't have to add that extra piece, that extra layer. So now once I've done that, I'm gonna take our Just Jade ribbon and I'm going to add that to the back. I'm just gonna use some glue dots. I love to do faux bows. And basically what that means is I will add a little glue dot here and then wrap that around and add another glue dot to hold it. Okay, I'm just gonna take our scissors and clip that off. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to weave some ribbon through like this and then just tie a little knot. So that's one way to do a faux bow. And I'm gonna slide that to the end. And cut it at an angle there. Okay, and I'm actually gonna put this flat down on the card because I'm going to pop up the sentiment using dimensionals. So once I center that there, you can see that the white, the little white dots are 
still showing through. I like that touch. And what stamp set I use, this is actually not a brand new stamp set, but this is a stamp set that was in the catalog last year that I didn't get a chance to play with. And it is so pretty. It's called Band Together, okay? And um, Band Together, if you were looking for it, is on page 112 in the annual catalog. And it coordinates with these dies. These dies are amazing. So you can see how pretty that detail is when you, um, when you are to die cut that out. It has like a little band there, this, and then you can put your sentiment in the middle. Let me actually show you some samples of that on page 112. So here's the stamp set again. As you can see, there's gray there, which indicates a, that there's a die that coordinates. And then you can see here, um, here's one sample. Well, actually it doesn't have the band on there. I'll have to, maybe I'll have to show you guys. I'll upload some pictures that have the band where you can see how pretty that is. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna use this die here and this circle die or this oval die. I've already die cut it, like I said, and so it comes out like this. I use that same coordinating color than the Just Jade. And this is a brand new embossing folder that I love to use. I've been using it on like all my projects. It's really subtle and it's, it's really pretty. And this one coordinates with the, one of the suites that we're gonna use later on um, as our third project. So I'll use this several times today. So anyway, so here I just went ahead and ran this through the embossing folder, which comes out like that, if you can see that texture on there. Okay, and now I gotta find my little white piece. There it is. And here are our ink pads. For those of you who've never used our ink pads before, they are a little bit tough initially, but I just kind of hold it like a compact and I pull it open like this and then slide it into place like so. Okay. All right, so for this one, I did uh, You Are Amazing, but I'm gonna use one of the other sentiments in that stamp set. That's beautiful inside and out. So whoever receives, whoever wins the door prize drawing is actually going to get this card. So I'm just going to center it and stamp down and straight up. Okay. This is our grid paper that comes that you can get with our Stamparatus. I like it because it's a little bit smaller and easier to, work, easier to work on. So now that I've stamped that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to center that on here. And then I'm gonna add some glue dots to the back. Love glue dots, I'm sorry, not glue dots, dimensionals. Love these things. I probably use dimensionals on every card and every project that I've ever created. They're sticky on both sides and it's got a little bit of foam, and so it just adds a little extra layer to your card. And I'm going to stick it on the card right here. Okay. So that's the card, and let me bring in the other ones again so you can see. I use one paper card, one uh, designer series paper stack, and created all of these cards. Okay, so I will be sharing all of the pieces that I use to create these so that you guys can see that um, and know what I used on these cards. So here we go, I'm gonna move these out of the way. If you guys have any questions while I'm stamping, you can go ahead and type them in and then I'll get back to you later if I can. I'll go back and look at comments later. So that was our first card. I hope you guys enjoyed that super sweet and simple, which is the kind of stamping I like. The next card that we're gonna do, let me clean my workstation off a little bit. The next card that we're gonna do, thank you, Linda. We have three Lindas on here right now. How cool is that? Okay, um, the next one I'm gonna do is kind of a fun kid card. And I started with one design and then decided to switch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna, instead of showing you the card first, I'm just gonna start stamping. We're gonna use this Hippo Happiness stamp set. And, oh, we'll be using these 
as well, but this is what I was looking for. Okay, we're gonna use the Hippo Happiness stamp set and the coordinating dies. Look at these dies, you guys. These have three different types of layering dies. This one is kind of uh, stitching around it. This one kind of has stitching around it too. I love this. This is so pretty. Oh, Rita, it's so simple. It's so simple. You're going to, I mean, you know how that is. So um, anyways, so these right here are coordinate with this particular stamp set. So what I did was I used this big piece right here. Let me get my pieces out. And there's another die that you can find. Um, let me dump it out of here. Okay. So you're going to see in that die set are these two little pieces here and some people might wonder what those are for so once i die cut that piece out and actually i die cut it at the same time i put my this pretty label on some whisper white and then i took these two pieces and put them on the ends here and this just makes a ribbon slot for you so that you can put ribbon on any of the die or any of the labels like this or your card bases anything that you want so that's what these two pieces when you see those in the catalog that's what that's for and i'm just going to slide that back in and set that to the side okay so i decided to stamp this unicorn here this is two-step stamping and i picked the sentiment when in doubt be a unicorn because i think that's so cute And this is a photopolymer stamp where you can see right through the stamp. That's great for those of us who like to use that to line up things. Um, it's just so much easier to see right through what you're doing. And it's also great when you're do, doing two-step stamping. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that right there. And then I'm going to take the more detailed image of the unicorn and ink him up in the gorgeous grape and stamp that right above my sentiment like so and then I'm going to use I like to close my stamp pads as I go otherwise I'll accidentally stamp in the wrong spot this is a new in color called magenta madness and I'm going to ink up the body of this unicorn. Now when I stamp this before, if I stamp straight on with the Magenta Madness, it's too dark. And so I'm gonna take and stamp off on some cardstock, breathe on it with my hot breath. <laughs> and then I'm going to kind of hover over the unicorn like this until it seems like it's kind of lined up. I have my camera in the way, so I can't really see what I'm doing, but essentially that's what you do, and you're adding that second layer there. Okay. Now we're going to take um, the little face. So when you're looking at this stamp set, this is the unicorn here. This is his face <laughs> that goes on there. This is our little hippo. That's his face. And this is the little lamb, and that's his face. So if you're um, wanting to reference it, you can go back and look at that. I'm gonna take our Memento Black ink, ink this up, and how I line this up are, there's the two little nostrils right there, and um, if you can see this, there's two eyes at the top, and then here's his little nostrils and his sweet little mouth. So I'm gonna line up the nostrils, and hopefully my unicorn won't look wonky there that's good enough <laughs> so that's my little unicorn and I cut out a couple other pieces so I'm gonna give him a little bow and I've lost his little unicorn head <laughs> I don't know where it's at it must be stuck in the paper somewhere well that happens okay so Anyways, I'm going to take a glue dot. Well, actually, I won't use a glue dot. I'll use one of our liquid adhesives and just add a little dot of glue there. And then put our bow right here. I was chatting with my friend Jennifer earlier today, and I I can't, I think she said that she didn't love the, the bow on the unicorn. I can't remember if that's what she meant by her text, but... I was trying to get her opinion on this card. So 
I will have to find the little unicorn horn. It's somewhere around here, somewhere. Anyways, so now I'm going to take my ribbon, and this is the Coordinating uh, Magenta Madness. This is one of the in colors ribbons. And the way that you can use this, you can use this ribbon thread a couple different ways. You can um, thread it through this way and have ribbon going across the front, but I'm actually gonna go in through the back like this and up and back through the front. And then I'm going to take my ribbon and tie a bow at the top. And of course, I always say this, but tying bows on camera is difficult. <laughs> you would think I'd never tied a bow before. Okay, so I like to work right from the spool of ribbon so that I don't waste any ribbon. So there we go. So there is my little knot, and then I'll add a little bow. I'll give myself a little chance to do this. If I can't, I'll just show you the finished product. Uh, that's good enough, right? So let me move this. And Rita, you said I made it look easy. <laughs> All right, and I'm just gonna cut this off there. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> And then I chose to use this designer series paper. Let me find it here on what page it is. Um, it's on page 148 in the catalog. So on page 148 of the catalog, I mentioned before Artistry Blooms. We're using this paper. It's such bright colors. I love it. And I am also going to be using our note cards and envelopes. Our note cards and envelopes are found on page, um, I made a little note, 153. When you're on page 153, you can find the note cards and envelopes, which are right here. And it comes in Very Vanilla or Whisper White, and they're 20 cards, 20 cards and 20 envelopes. They're a little bit smaller than our regular cards. You can mail this size card through the post but um, they're already pre-scored and pre-cut for you, so that makes it really easy. And then we're also gonna use some vellum cardstock, which you can see here on that same page. And that vellum cardstock comes in eight and a half by 11, but I cut it down. So here's the envelope. I'm sorry, not the envelope, but the um, cardstock. And it's already got a score line on there. And then I took that designer series paper, like I mentioned earlier, and I just cut it down an eighth of an inch to get a, a whisper white border around it. I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, and we're just gonna layer that on here. All right, and then we would take this piece, I'm actually gonna work on this a little bit more and fix it. Um, there, uh, let me not forget my vellum piece. We're gonna add a little piece of vellum to here. And because you don't want the adhesive to show through, which it can on vellum, you want to put the adhesive in the middle where you know it's gonna be covered up by this main image. So I'm just going to layer that piece of vellum. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to um, find his little horn to stick on here and fix this bow, but I would attach this with Stampin' Dimensionals. Then um, once I've done that, then I'm gonna add some rhinestones. So here are rhinestones. This is a staple. You must have these rhinestones. They're only $5 and they come with all of these rhinestones here. And I use our you pick, um, take your pick tool to be able to lift off the rhinestone okay, and place it wherever I want. So if I want a rhinestone, let's do one right down here like that. It makes it so much easier. And then there's this side here that has a little bit of a tacky, um, like a waxy tacky, and I'm forgetting the name of it, substance that allows you to pick up things like sequin. Um, and it makes it easier. And I'll show you that in a future demonstration, but that's that. Okay. We put that together on here and that's our finished card. Now, I love that paper so much that I decided to decorate the envelope with it. This is something I love to do also. 
is take our designer series paper and I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive there. I'm gonna line up this designer series paper with the edge of the envelope and push it down there. And then when I flip it over, I can just take my scissors and trim. Super easy to trim around it. Just use the envelope flap as your guide. Come around the corner here. Okay, and that instantly decorates your envelope. Isn't that pretty? I love that. So now we've got the card and the coordinating envelope. Okay, let me show you um, my original design with this card and I decided to switch it up a little bit to this one. And I'll take pictures of these final ones so that you guys can see what they look like. But um, this was my original design. So you can see it's a little bit different. I had whisper white background on here. So it was white on white, which I like this, but I thought the paper is so pretty. Why not really showcase it and use just a little bit of vellum in the background? And then I also did a little bit of a layer here. So you guys will have to tell me which card you like better. I know this one's not complete, but do you like this original design or do you guys like the one with the vellum? So definitely let me know, vote on that. Okay, let me move these items out of the way and then I'm gonna share our final project. That little hippo, I can see myself using that stamp set some more because I mean the little sheep is so cute and the little hippo and that unicorn I'm pretty sure I'm not done with that unicorn yet all right um, before I actually show you this last card let me show you the ordering incentive for tonight and so if you decide to you want to purchase um, some product to be able to craft you can purchase on my online store you can email me text me your order it's completely up to you Getting on the online store is probably the easiest because you'll use the host code that I shared earlier on our, um, on our group page. And you can see some of the stuff that's on sale too. Uh, there's a clearance rack on there so you can always like stock up on, on things that are uh, super duper discounted. Um, but we're having something called bonus days. Oh yay, you guys like the one with the vellum. Well good, then I made the right choice. Thank you guys for that. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> It's good to see you on here. Haven't seen you in a while. Okay, so bonus days. Bonus days is going on right now, all through the month of July. And basically what it means is with every $50 that you spend, you'll get a $5 coupon to spend next month. And so um, this is always a great time to place Stampin' Up! orders because then you get those coupons and who doesn't like a discount the following month, right? So not only um, will you get this, but if you spend $50 with me tonight, you'll also get to choose a designer series paper stack or pack that I've put together. And these are retired designer series paper samplers, okay? And I'm just gonna, I grabbed a couple to show you guys what that looks like. And I might do a video to show you again so you guys can see the actual pieces. But we've got some designer series paper here that was available in the, um, in the previous catalogs that are no longer available. Um, and so I sliced them up so that they are six by 12 and you get a sampling of the designer series paper. Here's one that was in an out of publication offering, the Please This Punch. I don't know if you guys had a chance to play with this, but this paper was beautiful. And then I also cut some coordinating cardstock so that you can make four, most of them have four card bases that are already pre-scored and pre-cut for you so you can just kind of go ahead and stamp right away okay so I'm going to put a list of all that's available and it's a first come first serve basis and they are limited um, I have more than what I'm showing you here but you can choose every $50 you spend you'll get a $5 coupon to spend next month plus you'll get to choose um, one of these for every $50 this is one of my favorites such a cute this was birthday bonanza that was in that mini catalog from last month so you'll see you get all those samples and then let me show you one more of my favorites this is the the i believe peaceful poppies 
This was that designer series paper that was available. And this particular bundle that coordinated with this is still available in the in the current catalog. So if you were to get this, you could still um, play with that current bundle. So here are just a few of them. And if you spend $35, I guess I could have started with that. If you spend $35 tonight, you'll get all of the pre-cut pieces to make the three projects that we're creating tonight mailed to you so that you can create those on your own at home. If you spend 50, then you can get $5 coupon plus you get to choose one of these designer series paper um, sampler packs, okay? Hopefully that made sense. Let's get into our last card. I came up with this very quick and simple masculine card using one of my favorite suites in the catalog. This is one. This is actually the first suite and first, first bundle that I purchased when I got the new annual catalog. So here it is. It's called Tasteful Touches and it's just so pretty. Um, these are the dies and I fell in love with the dies and if you guys are on my team, the Beehive, then you know that I've used these dies nonstop ever since they came out. So, um, so anyways, I've used these projects or these this bundle here to create this project. Let me show you this suite of products because I just don't want you to miss out on it. Okay, one page 124. So the, the suite is called um, In Good Taste Suite, and you'll see that the collection is down here. The collection um, is the bundle that I just showed you, the stamps and the dies and then the designer series paper, an embossing folder that's one of my favorites, and then some elements, some wood elements that make some great 3D additions to your cards. Let me show you some samples of this designer series paper. So you've seen the stamp set. Um, I love the font here. The good things in life are better with you. Just saying hello, and you're so special, and you're the best. Isn't that great? I mean, I can just think of so many people that I would send cards that say that to. Let me show you the designer series paper, some of them that are in here. These are photographic designer series paper. So you've got this, and then on the other side are just some different um, colors and textures. This one here, look at that, isn't that pretty? This one looks like spackle and love wood grain. I mean, love it. There's so much pretty stuff you can do with that. This one here. I should actually look up the names of all of these textures because I don't know. <laughs> this. And then this one, this looks like some kind of tile, maybe a backsplash or something you'd find in a bathroom. Same with this one. Looks like a close up of somebody's sweater. Maybe some tweed. Love that. Love that wood grain. I think I might have showed you this one earlier. Oh, nope, I showed you a different color. Okay, and so the card, let me go back here. The card is going to use the Just Saying Hello stamp, and we're going to use this um, texture here and the feather. The feather is so pretty. Um, only thing we're not using in this suite are the little wood elements. So you'll see the wood elements here. That's always fun to add a little bit of wood to your project. Okay, let me get my pieces out to create this card. So when you order, if you do place a 35, minimum $35 order with me, you're going to get all of the pieces already cut for you and prepped like this, and they're going to be in the coordinating envelope. So when you receive it, you'll get these and instructions on how to put them together. Or you can always come back and watch the video. Okay, so let's take this piece. This is gray granite cardstock, which is a very lovely neutral color. And we're just gonna fold it in half. I cut and score these um, card bases for you. And then we're gonna use um, this, one of these pieces of the designer series paper. And then this is the other side. Get right there. Before we put that paper down, I'm gonna do some tone on tone stamping. So we're gonna use the gray granite ink pad and we're gonna use this image from the stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp 
right there. And then maybe down here. Okay. Then we can go ahead and add um, one little tip. If you find that you're using this seal, stamp and seal, and it's not, no adhesive is coming out, grab our silicone mat and put your paper on there and start ab um, above the image or above the piece that you're trying to put adhesive on and then roll back and let the silicone mat start the uh, tape runner so that it can bring some of the glue to the to the front. Hopefully that makes sense. I got a little tongue tied there. So, um, so do that. And then I'm just going to layer this piece on here. Okay. And then for this little band, this paper is our designer series paper stack that coordinates with the in colors. So you can find designer series paper stack in four different designs. Um, let me grab some so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, so here's the stack of paper and it's in all five of our colors, or in colors. Actually, it's in every color that we offer, um, but you'll see that there's four different designs. So you'll get a whole stack of them with these two different designs in those colors, okay? So I just grabbed, so this is just shade. Here's our Misty Moonlight, okay? Grab that and just cut a little strip of that. And then I love being able to use scrap paper. This is just a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch that I had just laying around. Um, and I'm gonna add some adhesive to this and center it on here. And this is our um, braided twine or braided, what's it called? It's called braided linen. Yeah, braided linen trim that's available. I love this. This trim, you can use it just as is, or you can actually pull pieces out and use um, some skinnier pieces of the twine to make it um, just give it a different look. Then I'm gonna grab a glue dot. Again, I'm not gonna tie a bow because I want this to, card to be a bit masculine. So I'm gonna put a little glue dot on this end and let me grab another glue dot for this end, okay. And I'm just gonna stretch that braided linen around to the back like so, just like that, okay. And then I'm gonna use our adhesive again. Let me snip off this extra piece, we don't need that. And we're gonna lay that right here on the card. Okay. Now we're gonna take this piece. This is uh, one that I cut out using this die right here. And you'll see this die has a little bit of dimension. So this one right here has some stitching around it, which is really pretty. This one kind of just has a line around it. And it's really subtle. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but it's a really subtle detail that's around that. And I'm going to take our feather stamp. The stamp is beautiful. And I'm gonna do gray granite. And I'm just gonna stamp right down on here like that. Isn't that pretty? Then I'm gonna take our Misty Moonlight ink pad and our sentiment, just saying hello. Love this font. Okay, and then just like that. If you wanted the feather to be a little bit lighter behind it, you could stamp off so it's a little bit lighter there. And then when you go to stamp your um, your sentiment, the sentiment stands out a little bit more. I just really like the way the feather looked. So you'll see that's really, really light feather in the background. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna grab some of our Stampin' Dimensionals. 
maybe. <laughs> Sometimes those things disappear. Oh, here they are. All right, we're gonna add four little Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Pop these off. All right, bring my card back in here. And then I'm just going to layer it right here of course, you can add more to this card if you'd like. I just wanted a simple card, something quick and easy to send, and something masculine. Now, for the inside of the card, I want to stamp our, um, use this stamp again, and just kind of stamp down here in the corner like that. And then instead of stamping our feather, in that gray granite, I'm going to use, I'm going to clean off the feather. This is our Simply Chamois. This is just a quick and easy way to clean our stamps. All you have to do is rinse this in water, um, rinse it out in water and keep it nice and damp. I like to store it in our cases like this, put a little decorative designer series paper on there and store that and have it right at hand whenever I'm stamping. So I've taken the ink off of the feather and switched it to the Misty Moonlight. And then I'm just going to stamp that right there. And let's grab that envelope that coordinates with it. And let's do the same thing on the envelope. So we'll do the feather just like that. And actually, I'm not going to stamp the other, um, the other piece on the envelope. Just leave it with the feather. I think that looks good. Okay, so those are our three projects. Let me add some adhesive and stick this on the inside of the card. That one already has one. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. This is new for me to be doing some um, online workshops, semi-new. Uh, and hopefully my plan is to do this on a regular basis, maybe like a once a month and teach you guys new tips and tricks and techniques, how to use the Stampin' Up! product, highlight some really pretty things and um, share with you guys and come to you with different specials that Stampin' Up! is offering and even some ordering incentives from me. So here's this third card that we did. Now let me locate all my cards that I created. Um, when I get to crafting, I just kind of start throwing stuff. Uh, let's, I'm going to have to really fix this card. <laughs> There's this little guy. Just grab his envelope. I love to decorate our envelopes. And then our stack of cards. That's crazy. I don't know where I took them. Oh, they're in this bin. Okay. And then, of course, these cards here. I don't know what you can see or what you can't see. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for attending. I'm so glad to see you guys on here. There we go. So if you place a $35 order using the host code that I shared, um, then you will get all the pieces to create these projects uh, at home. You are actually, for the for this card, you're gonna get one of these colors, okay? So you get maybe this one or this one, you'll get one of them. And if you spend $50, then you'll get a $5 coupon. Plus, you get to choose from one of those designer series paper packs that I shared with you. And I'll share a list of what's available um, later. So if you're on my team, the Beehive, definitely, I hope you guys are inspired by this. But um, place orders under yourself because you guys get your own discount. And I'll be hopping on the team page to share with you guys a little bit more later. All right. I hope you guys had a great night. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. And I hope to see you guys again next month. All right. Bye-bye.